The middle of November found us in the air again on another business trip, this time headed to Seattle, Washington. This customer combined both our businesses. We helped them get started with vacuuming the insulation out of 28 apartments, and then sat down to discuss some internet marketing strategies for his website. Neither Suzanne nor I had been to Washington before, so we stayed a couple of extra days on our dime. Our flight got in late <clears throat> tonight because there were strong headwinds almost all the way from Atlanta. So we had a very long flight. We're super tired. Barry's getting the car rental situated, and then we're going to hit the hay before we start exploring this beautiful city tomorrow. Barry doesn't find it very encouraging that uh, they provided the rental car with a scraper for snow and ice. When we get McDonald's, especially after midnight, you know the situation is desperate because we don't do this kind of food anymore very well but it looks so good right now. When I heard Barry making plans to come to Seattle, I knew right away that I wanted to come along. My middle girl's best friend lives here now, and it just so happens that her mom, who is my very, 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 very dear friend, um, is out here visiting. So um, I'm so excited to be here to see her. And then we have a friend who he used to live in Gulf Shores. I did some volunteer work for an organization she works for. And when she moved out here, I promised that I was gonna come see her one day and it's finally going to happen. We found out last night when we landed that there is a mask mandate. Turn left the, at the traffic line. guy who checked Barry into the hotel told him that as of today, masks must be worn everywhere. So we're not sure exactly what it means. So we're gonna to have to find that out today. We picked up our friend Vanita the next morning and headed to Pike Street Market. YouTubers Kara and Nate recommended trying the macaroni and cheese at Beecher's Handmade Cheese on one of their recent videos. And they were right. It was amazing. Being coffee drinkers, we had to stop at the world's first Starbucks. Warm coffee in hand, we explored more of the market. That in and of itself was very interesting and we felt like we were getting a feel for this unique city. A friend in Gulf Shores recommended we try the cookies at Three Girls Bakery. We also had breakfast there. The service was as fantastic as the food. There was a large storm system coming in off the Pacific, so it pretty much rained all day. That didn't keep us from exploring, however. While Barry worked, Benita and I explored these beautiful gardens that had a great view of Lake Union. Amazon is headquartered in Seattle, so we set off to see as many of their sites as we could. Amazon Go Grocery was a very interesting experience. So, okay, you put, you scan in, and then everything you pick up, just somehow your phone reads it, yep. and you bag it yourself and just walk out without so a checkout. There's cameras everywhere. Uh, okay. There's everywhere, cameras, so they're constantly tracking. That you're doing. Okay, and then so he just fills his bag and walks out. Yeah. yeah. It feels so weird. Like we're doing something wrong, you know? If you go to Seattle, an Amazon Go store is definitely worth a stop. So this is going to combine my interest and Barry's interest, right? 
Yep. Amazon and plants. We might have to move to Seattle. No. <laughs> Our next stop was the Amazon Spheres. Unfortunately, they were closed due to COVID, so we couldn't go in. The area around them is so beautiful, and even though it was raining pretty hard by then, we were glad we stopped to walk around. So is this an Amazon building in front of us? This is the original Amazon store. And now that I'm hooked on these things, we have to go in again. I made my first Amazon Go purchase. So healthy. It feels so strange like you're shoplifting. I told her to get bananas. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have, but they would have gone bad. Thanks for shopping. Your trip time is four minutes and 30 seconds. Your receipt is ready. Barry is an Amazon addict. Today definitely is all about him. We're going to all these Amazon things. Wednesday is going to be all about me hiking, going to different parks and things. But today is his day. But you know, somehow, Barry, I think buying it at the Amazon store would not really feed your addiction. I think it's when the Amazon Prime truck pulls up to our house. It, it involves the two-day wait. It's the anticipation. <laughs> it's the excitement of just having ordered. And then, and then seeing my phone ding and running to the box. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I know. So this really wouldn't... No. No. This is, this is a letdown. <laughs> Our girls were very much into American Girl dolls when they were little. Anytime we got near a store in our travels, we stopped. This was the first American Girl store I visited without them. I knew they would want me to get some photos. Meanwhile, it began to pour and Barry had a meeting with our customer, so it was the perfect time for Vanita and I to window shop. That evening, we met up with Benita's daughter who recommended we go to Duke's for some seafood. The views were beautiful and the food was amazing. What a beautiful city. We've had such a great first day. I can't wait for tomorrow. Say hi to YouTube land. And here is the cutest dog in the world, Theo. Theo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to follow more of our adventures.